Hey guys, we are at Cedar Mills Marina, located on Lake Texoma. We're just north of Dallas on the Texas-Oklahoma border. Come along with us, guys. Welcome to beautiful Cedar Mills Marina. We're on Lake Texoma and this spot is gorgeous. You wouldn't believe what they have. They've got a, a marina, they've got an RV area, they've got lakeside homes you can rent. They even have a petting zoo. Our grands went crazy over that with a big fat pig and roosters. And then the landing strip, you can rent a vacation property on the landing strip. So today we're gonna to be doing an RV tour how-to tour and you're going to be able to see where we've been staying in our RV. Come along guys! Wow, it's foggy today. Hey Zach, where are we headed? Well, we're headed up to Lake Texoma. It's a large lake on the border of Texas and Oklahoma. It's the name Lake Texoma and there's a marina that has a, a great camping site. It's called Cedar Mills Marina. Fun place, a lot to do there, so we're on the way. Guys, Lake Texoma, interesting facts are it's located between the Oklahoma and Texas borders. It's one of the biggest reservoirs in the United States, including about 1,200 miles of shoreline. And lake waters covered about 93,000 acres, with waters flowing from the Red River and the Washita River. Lake Texoma was constructed during World War II by German prisoners that helped construct the dam. The prisoners were the first prisoners of war to be used in labor camps. The initial construction of the Lake Dam in Denison was in 1944. Lake Texoma is known as the striper playground of the, of the South, world. and it striper. earns its name due to the number of striper bass reproduced in the lake naturally, and it has a wide variety of fish from black crappie, smallmouth, largemouth bass, channel catfish, and blue cats. There's a number of small islands on Lake Texoma, including Hog Island, West Island, Treasure Island, Wood Island, North Island, and Little Island. Visitors have access to two different state parks. In Oklahoma, it's Lake Texoma State Park, and in Eisenhower, is on the Texas side, with plenty to do, including hiking and bike trails. Well, we're coming in, and we see the lake, and we're coming to Cedar Mills Marina, and we're heading in to check-in at the ship store. And then we see this. This house burnt to the ground. Whoa, that's why they didn't answer. When did that happen? No. That was so adorable. Guys, you, you guys. It's my wife, Linda. <laughs> Hi, Linda. <laughs> oh, man, I okay. am so sorry. I saw your place burnt. Oh, I know, I know. It's, it's sad. It's it was very sad. such a cute place, too. And had that New England vibe to it and the big porches and it's been there for 35 years. Wow, it was great. I I'm know. sorry that happened. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Yep. Okay, let's see here. Zach and Linda McConnell. Okay, so I'll show you. They make this so small I can barely see. Okay, it looks like you're in location five. Do you know where that's at? I do. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. I'll let them know that you're here. Okay. And if you need anything, just give me a call. Okay. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, Guys, this resort is priced great. It runs below $30 per night when you use your Good Sam's discount. We came early in spring and not that many people have checked in yet, but they are coming. This place books up. Now let's watch Zach back in. Okay, go Winston. Hey girls. Can I hold him? Who wants to hold him? Me! 
Okay, you can go first though. You have to hold them good, okay? Okay. And then we'll take turns holding them, okay? What now? Bigger than don't have any bigger than don't know anyone here. Yeah, we don't know people. That's such a cute. Cute dog sound. No, that's a cat. Dogs make this sound. Oh, dog sound. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a kitty. This is a dog. Uh, 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 Poppy, did you pack some firewood? Yes. You can chop down a tree. With are, my hand? Are we going to have a ah, fire with later on? Ah, with, the, ah. with an axe? Yeah, like the Bible. Well, I don't have an axe. Like, the, like with the Bible. Like the Bible? There's axe in the Bible. There's axe in the Bible? No. What? What? What's that? <laughs> okay, and then what do we do? We take our, our wet we shoes take off, right? Our shoes off. Yep, because we're getting all wet, aren't we? Yes. Okay. Did mine just catch on fire? No, they're good and good. Can I have mine like this? You don't want to eat more cooked than that? How many pieces of salt is in the ocean? That's a good question for I'm Collins. Oh, Collins. <laughs> and I'm Cola. And I'm Quinn. That is a good question. Hey guys, today is a beautiful day. Bright and sunny, and you just want to be outside. Definitely relaxing. And now people are starting to pour into the RV park. This campground is getting busy. And I just take time to look at this beautiful lake and I uh, love looking at the tall sailboats. And it is so much fun exploring this marina with family. And we've just had a lot of special memories uh, running around here. And oh, wow, look at that beautiful water view. And oh, there's really pretty geese in the water and they are just having a wonderful, peaceful time just going out to sea. And there's just so many memories that we have made here. When we got here at Cedar Mills Marina, we were really surprised and shocked and a little sad. Absolutely. We drove in and we found the ship store had burnt down to the ground. And it was so cute. It was very kind of nautical, New England looking. It was a two-story building built back in 1980s, had wraparound porches, the white uh, rocking chairs on the front porch, a great place to see a sunset. But they had a fire, apparently. And it was just a couple of days ago. We got here on, let's see, a, a Thursday. It right. happened the previous Tuesday. Right. So they were still in a crisis mode. They're handling it really well. Yeah, it was uh, just a... It's still under investigation. It was terrible. We're going to have an uh, interview with one of their employees so you can learn more details of what happened. So stay tuned for that. The dogs here. Oh, that's right. She wasn't here. Oh, no. You said you had her at home or something. What's her name? Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Hello, Hi. Mandy. <laughs> We're dog friendly here. She's a multi poo. Now, tell us what happened to the uh, gift shop thing. Um, it's under investigation right now. I personally think it was an electrical fire. Oh, that caused we're it. just so sad because it's such a beautiful show. Oh, it, it really was. It was back, uh, built in the 80s. Uh -huh. it, it, it survived two floods. Oh, it did? Yeah. Wow. And, uh, I, so I, sad. Yeah. Yeah. But it's really, uh, we are really trying to keep this place going too, you know, because uh, 
everything went through that building that makes this place operate. Oh, I know. Well, we called and no one was answering the phone, and I thought, that's unusual. Y'all always answer the phone. Yeah. I thought, oh, what the heck, they're just busy. Yeah. So we just came on, but then we figured it out once we got here. We didn't know it all happened. So one of my big problems was this. What? This is where oh, everybody you didn't stays. Oh. We didn't have this until... Oh, because the software was in everything there. Everything was gone. Oh, what everything a hot mess. was melted. All oh, of our keys really? to this place, to all the boats that are on this property. No! Yep. No! Yep, to all the cabins and everything else are all melted in one big old giant pile in there. Really? Yep. I didn't so even think I'm, about that. I'm the most important person out here because I carry the master keys with me. Wow. A, a set for me for security. Wow. So. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> it's it, And oh. it's just the little things that you don't normally think about. Oh, we've had a fire, you know? so I know what yeah. this feels like. It doesn't feel yeah. good at all. Payroll is being done by hand right now. Oh, it is? Yeah. And, uh, oh my word! She's about ready to pull her hair out. I oh, went in wow. there and I, I kicked her out of her office for a few minutes. I said, "Go outside and have, have you know, right?" Because it just happened. Yeah. Right? Didn't it just happen like yeah. Tuesday? And yep. And y'all were? Did y'all even close down at all? No. When wow. when it happened, it happened at eleven fifteen at night. Uh -huh. I had just got off work. Oh really? And then I got the call. And then wow. I, I, I came back, so I stayed here from 11.25 to all the way the next night till about 11 o'clock the next night. Well, is it a volunteer fire department out here, or yeah. what is it? Yeah. yeah. But you see, we had response from four departments. Did they all show up? They all showed up. We, had, we had 18 fire trucks. Oh, wow. And 16, no, 18, no. 14 fire trucks and 18 firemen wow. out here fighting. Well, you know, you can tell that it just was that building mm -hmm. and everything else was saved. Yep. So I was just like, they must have had some help here. They, because they, they fought it real, real good yeah, for us. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Well, we're sorry. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry Girls you're going through fun. it. I'll oh, yeah, they're having a lot I'll of fun. I'll be back in and out through here through the day. you to meet someone really special. It's Charlie and he does guided fishing tours here at Lake Texoma at the marina. You know, Texoma is known for their stripers. They have beautiful striper bass and uh, you can go out with a guide. You usually get your limit within a few hours. That's how good the fishing is here. So we'll go see Charlie. He'll give us a demonstration of filleting fish and one of his favorite recipes. Absolutely, so listen at the very end to hear that recipe. Hey guys, we're here with my friend Charlie. He has got a fishing guide service and he's gonna tell us a little bit about what he does here on Lake Texoma. Hey Charlie. Hey, how we doing today? Here you are on beautiful Lake Texoma, about 600 miles of shoreline. 
89,000 surface acres. You're at Cedar Mills Marina at the west end of the lake. Our guide service supplies everything. Rod, reels, bait, tackle. All you do is show up what you want to eat and drink. Get a Texoma license for $12. It's good till the end of the year. Basically, just show up and everything's done for you. We can do single people, couples. We can do people up to 50 people. We can do big group trips. And uh, you're at the nicest marina on the lake here at beautiful Cedar Mills Marina on Lake Texoma. Hey, Charlie, so you took some people out this morning. How'd it go? Uh, it went great. We had a... Uh, we had our we left at 7 30 we had our 30 stripers and a few sand bass and a crappie by 9 30 i think i kept them out till 10 30. they came from uh arkansas and east texas it was the grandson's birthday oh how fun so uh that's what we did today okay. hey guys i always think this is a treat to watch charlie tell us a little bit about his fish what he caught and watch how he fillets these things because they clean the fish for you everything they put it in a bag you take it home guys you're ready to eat what you got charlie so here what we've got today we've got our limit of stripers we had three people in the boat so we had 30 stripers then your bonus fish are sand bass they don't go against your limit this is a sand bass and this is a striped bass and you can see how they get their name by the stripes they're the predominant fish in the lake and then every once in a while you'll get lucky and get a crappie mixed in with them all these fish are great to eat if you're on the east coast they call stripers rock fish not rock bass but rock fish they're very prevalent on the east coast all the way up to the chesapeake so i'm going to clean one of these fish for you and uh the stripers have some red meat between the skin and the fillet that needs to be taken out. And we do that for you. It's real strong tasting, real fishy tasting. But we cut that out. So what you're going to have is a beautiful fillet just like that. And here's what we're not eating. This is the red meat that is real strong and really fishy tasting. So you have to cut that out. The bigger the fish, the more red meat there is but they're excellent. You can bake them, fry them, grill them. My favorite way to cook them is get a piece of fish about like this, wrap it in bacon, put it on the grill, run a toothpick through it to hold the bacon on. When the bacon's crispy on one side, flip it over. When the bacon's crispy on the other side, it's ready to eat, foolproof. Guys, here's the problem. Charlie makes this look so easy. Anytime I try that, no, it's it's not good. It is just not pretty. So come check out Charlie. Go out fishing with him. You'll have a great time, and it'll be a it'll be a great day. Okay, next up, guys, is Pelicans Landing Restaurant here at Cedar Mills Marina. Absolutely, guys. You can actually just take your boat up here, your car, your RV, but it's got great food. You can eat out on the deck, or you can eat inside. And they've got from steaks to seafood to salad to burgers. So come along with us. Let's check it out. You bet. Now, one of my favorite places is on the deck out there because you have a beautiful view of the lake. You can see the marina, all the sailboats, and it just makes a lot of fun to get outside until it gets to August, and then maybe inside's better. And they've got great drinks too. Hey guys, we are at Pelican's Landing Restaurant. You can catch the views of beautiful Lake Texoma here. It's a fun and casual atmosphere. You can dine inside or out on the deck at the restaurant. It's located on the west end of Lake Texoma. We're here within the Cedar Mills Marina and Resort. And right here overlooking the marina with all the sailboats. So you can come by car, boat, airplane, or RV. You're gonna enjoy steaks, seafood, salad, burgers, sandwiches, appetizers, and desserts hey and on the weekends they have breakfast so relax and come enjoy your favorite cool drink at the bar or out on the deck and check out their event schedule since they do special events from bands to wine tastings Hey guys, we're at Cedar Mills Marina Fishing Dock and here at Lake Texoma, it's famous for great fishing. It's one of the best places in the world to catch really big stripers. And these Lake Texoma stripers 
fight like there is no tomorrow all the way to the net. Well, this a wonderful fishing dock located right here where the big ones like to play right next to the RV camping sites. It's just right across from the marina. So bring your fishing gear since this is great fun for the kids and adults too. Well, the fishing dock also has a couple of picnic tables located right under that big old shade tree over there. You could take a break from the Texas heat and you can stop by the fishing dock to see what you can catch. You have plenty of fishing stories to share around the campfire. All right, guys, we've been out camping. It's time to start packing up. So we're going to go through the process of how to unhook your, uh, your gray and black tanks in sewer line. So we always want to have our tanks closed when we're camping because if they're open, it allows gunk to get into the uh, sewer line and it just sits there and that's not a good thing. So we'll always open our black tank first and then our gray tank. And what that does, the black tank comes out, goes through the sewer pipe, down into the septic system, and then by opening the gray tank, which is a little cleaner water than the black is, then that kind of rinses out our tank. So we'll get started. I'll put on some gloves here real quick. Always a nice thing to have handy. I used to use some of the little disposable gloves, but they were a little hassle and these were a little better. So I'm going to start with the black tank here and we're going to open it up. Oh, sheesh. Okay, guys. So let's close that. So. This is a very good reason of why you don't let your hose get too old. Ours is time to replace and Come here, take a look. If you can see right here, it's been hit a couple of times and there's a bend. And so we were getting a leak right out of the black hose right there. So we're going to get this fixed. We'll get a new hose. It's a very simple fix. Really no good way to repair those. These are relatively expensive. You can get them online at Amazon. We'll get a new hose here and we'll be good to go. Beautiful view of the tall sailboats and the marina. The airstrip is one of a kind. There is a 3,000 foot grass runway. The approach to runway 25 is so cool, right over the water. It was the first grass strip I had ever landed on and the runway ends dead on into the lake on a downhill slope. A little challenging for a new pilot, but very fun. You can stay at the cottages that overlook the airstrip. Yeah. And there's picnic tables out here. The fishing pier is just around the corner from here. But you can use this lodge for family reunions. It's just a nice place you can rent out. And then here's some more camping sites along this way. Hey guys, we're at I-35 RV Supercenter in Denton, Texas. This is the largest dealer in North Texas specializing in consignment RVs. This beautiful coach is a 2016 Winnebago Forza 38R. So it's 37 feet in length and it's got 6 feet 8 inches of interior height. The engine's a Cummings. It's got the leveling jacks to keep you nice and level as you are in your RV spot. The mileage on it is 44,423 and it's got a beautiful paint job on the exterior of tan and black. Guys, this one's is a diesel. It's very luxurious. Well, the Winnebago Forza is very nicely priced. The coach has a frontliner chassis, provides a solid foundation with a Cummins 340 horsepower diesel engine, and an Allison six-speed speed transmission delivers all that power. It's got an Onan generator. Well, the diesel pushers are known for their storage and the Forza pushes that capacity even farther. So much storage here. This coach also has those awnings and two air conditioners to keep you nice and cool during the summer months. Inside, you're gonna appreciate the great amenities such as the polished Corian gallery countertops, the coffee glazed cabinetry throughout. It's got an upscale entertainment system. It's got tile flooring throughout and LED lighting. It's got the beige leather interior that's really nice and neutral. And the flooring is really easy to clean. This kitchen area has a three burner stove, a really pretty tile backsplash, a stainless double sink with a beautiful faucet and a full-size stainless refrigerator with a microwave. 
This flex seal fold out bed is in the den and across from it's the fireplace. It's got the bunk over the dining room table which converts into a second bunk. So this coach has a half bath in the middle and it sleeps six with two slide outs to give you more room and great sleeping capacity. This coach has a queen bed in the master at the back here with storage galore with two wardrobes back here in the master, a full length mirror, a master sink with a medicine cabinet over the sink makes it so nice to get ready. And the master bath out here in the back, it has an adjustable shower head with a nickel finish and the washer dryer is back here in the back closet. So the sale price is $139,998 and it's located in Denton, Texas. This one won't last long. So guys, now we're ready to go and we're heading back home. So Zach, how did you think that went? Oh, it was very smooth. Everything went the way it was supposed to, which you love that. You know, the only bad thing is we're leaving. I don't want oh. to leave. I never want to leave. Ever. Ever. Maybe someday we'll be full-time RVers. Yeah, right now nice. we're just being as much RVers as we possibly can. Yeah. But live tomorrow now. Right? right. Live it now. And whatever your situation is, wherever you find yourself, just do it now. There's a way. Might not be the exact way you'd like it to perfectly be. But you know what? There's a way. Absolutely. I'm all with you. Happy trails, guys. Chairs. That was lovely to just sit there and have a sunset and watch that. Ah! There goes my hat. Okay, we're going to do that one. Oh. This is really windy out here. Look home up. Oh! Ha, ha, ha.